We'll get started um, in a seat. So if you have a pillow or two and you want to stuff them up, um, we'll get started just in an easy seat. So similar to like a crisscross applesauce sort of position. Take your time setting up as always. There are so many other spaces in our life where we are asked to rush. <laughs> Don't let this be one of them. So once you find yourself in a seat, see if you can just notice the top of your head and think about the top of your head reaching up a little bit taller towards the ceiling above you. And at the same time, like an opposing force, can you let your shoulders soften away from your ears? To feel the sides of your neck be getting a little bit longer. You might even then take a moment once you feel that lengthening in your spine, drop your chin to your chest so you feel the back of your neck lengthen out. And then lift your chin up towards the ceiling to feel the front of your throat. Open up just a little bit more and then find it neutral. So maybe gazing straight ahead for a moment. And then if it feels okay, let the eyes softly close. And take a moment just to settle into this feeling of stillness. And bring one hand to your belly, maybe even one hand to your chest. just to feel this physical anchor on your body where you can observe your breath. So on your inhale, notice how your chest rises, maybe even your belly expands, even if it's ever so slightly as you breathe in. And then a slow exhale out. As you empty the breath. And so just start in this place of observation without needing to react to or change anything. Just take a few more rounds of breath like that. Slow breath in. Slow exhale out. And then your next round of breath, see if you can get completely empty here, all the way to the bottom of your exhale. And take a big mindful breath in for three, two, one. And then open up your mouth this time. Maybe audibly you hear that exhale, slowly breathe out three. Two, one, do that one more time. Bigger breath in all the way to the top. 
and open up your mouth. Letting that slow sigh out. And then just a normal breath in. Fuller exhale. You can drop your hands into your lap. Maybe you place them on your knees and just take one more moment here to observe maybe the shift, whether it be small or big, just notice maybe that shift from a place of maybe a little bit of chaos or crossing things off a to-do list to a place of stillness. Noticing what happens when we only focus on the breath or we attempt to only focus on the breath. What a powerful shift that can be. Again, take a breath in and out. Think about sitting up nice and tall again, the crown of your head reaching up a little bit higher. And we'll start to match movement with breath. So on your inhale, like you did before, lift your chin, lift your face, open up the front of your throat as you breathe in. And then as you exhale, chin to your chest. And we'll start to make that just a little bit bigger. So inhale, lift your face, lift your chin. But at the same time, can you start to drive the heads of your shoulders back and squeeze the shoulder blades together a little bit more to open through the chest? And then as you exhale, chin towards your chest, round your shoulders forward, maybe start to notice a little bit of a stretch in between the shoulder blades. And do that again. Inhale to lift the chest, the chin, the face, open. And then exhale, rounding forward. Chin draws in. And then sit up nice and tall. Reach the arms out and up. Big breath in. You'll reach overhead. Maybe even look up towards your fingertips. And then as you exhale, just a gentle twist to the right. So opposite hand, opposite knee or thigh. Take an inhale to sit up nice and tall. And then an exhale, maybe even look over your shoulder behind you. And then inhale back up through center, breathe in to sit up tall. And then exhale, twist to the other side. Opposite hand, opposite knee. You can even look behind you a bit. And then inhale back up through center. You'll look up through the fingertips. And then exhale, bring the hands in front of you and you'll crawl off of that pillow. Meet me in hands and knees, tabletop position. You can keep that pillow close by off to the side and have it handy. <laughs> And you'll spread your fingers nice and wide and let them land right underneath or a little bit wider than your shoulders. In that tabletop position, I want you to find a similar movement that you did when you were in a seat. So on your inhale, see if you can drop the belly down so you can let the chin, the face rise. And then exhale, think about your upper back rounding towards the ceiling, drop your chin in towards your chest, finding cat pose. We'll move through those two shapes with breath. Inhale to find cow, letting the chest almost draw forward, chin will rise. And then exhale back, starts to round, head will drop. And one more on your own. So inhaling to cow. Slow exhale into cat. Coming back to neutral here. Start to walk your hands back towards your knees and walk them up your thighs. You'll rise up onto your knees and you'll reach your hands up. Take a big breath in, arms up overhead. And then we'll take a twist similar to before, but your left hand will go forward. 
your right hand will reach back behind you. So you're just starting to twist a little bit more. And then inhale to lift the arms up. Exhale, you'll twist, right hand goes forward, left hand goes behind you. Inhale to reach back up and step your right foot forward. So you're coming into a little bit of a lunge. Right hand will grab your left wrist here, almost like making a bracelet. Take an inhale to reach up higher with the left fingertips. And then as you exhale, reach over or lean over to the right. So just creating a little bit more length in between the left ribs here through down to the left side of your hip. Reach back up on your inhale and then bring right knee next to your left, arms down along your sides and then even bring your hands to your hips here. So you're still on your knees, but send your elbows back behind you. Lift your chin, lift your face. Just to open up across the chest here. So nice. And then come back to neutral. Step your left foot forward, reaching the arms up on an inhale. Your left hand creates that bracelet around your right wrist. Reach up with the right fingertips as you breathe in. And then exhale, tip the torso over to the left. Creating a little bit more of a stretch and through the front of the right hip, the outer right hip as well. And then take a breath in, rise up. Your left knee comes to meet the right. Meet me in tabletop pose. So hands return to the ground. Take a breath in, find cow. And then exhale to round into cat. One more like that, slow inhale to drop the belly and then slow exhale to round. So oh, nice, and then you come back to neutral here. Start to send your right leg behind you. So you're still in that tabletop, but you're now almost like a three-legged, we'll call it three-legged tabletop. Take this opportunity to just uh, twirl the ankle around both directions, both directions rather. And then tuck your right toes onto the ground behind you. You'll press back with your right heel, get that stretch through the back of the leg. And then you'll spin that right heel down. You can even take your left foot, create a little bit of a kickstand behind you. And then your left hand will stay on the ground, reach your right arm up. Take a big breath in here. Reach your right fingertips forward. So that right arm comes almost alongside your ear. Can you press your right foot down a little more and reach with your right fingertips? Again, those opposing forces to create a little bit more space in between. Use your breath here. One more inhale to get a little bit longer. So nice. And then your exhale, you'll start to rise up. Keep the legs the same if you can. Arms come out like a T. Drop the right hand down. Your left arm will rise. You might even look up to your left fingertips. And bring your arms back like a T. And you'll bring your hands down to the ground. Now you'll come back to that three-legged tabletop for a moment. The right leg will lift up behind you. You'll step your right foot outside your right hand. So it might take a moment to get it there once you have it there. Tuck your back toes under and lift your back knee up. So you're just coming into this easy runner's lunge here. You can even rock a little front to back to back and then look over to the left side of your mat. I want you to walk your hands there and then parallel your feet. So you land in this wide leg forward fold. So we're just like slowly coming up from the ground. You now both feet finally planted. Take a breath in here. And if you'd like, you can even bend your knees more to then let your head 
drop down. You can then let gravity do a little bit of work. If that feels okay, you can shake your head yes and no. Feeling just the weight of your head. Almost like dangle as you keep pressing firmly into both feet, evenly into both feet. And then when you're ready, take almost like a halfway lift here. So you can walk your hands underneath your shoulders. You can softly bend the knees. And then if you want, you can either walk your hands up your legs or bring your hands to your hips. And then ever so slowly, you'll stand all the way up. So you've made your way onto your feet. And just step both feet to the top of your mat. Take your arms down along your sides and just find mountain pose here. So your palms will face forward. Maybe even take a moment to shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Draw them back and down. You might even do that one more time. Think about the crown of your head up a little taller, even as the shoulders rise. But then draw the shoulder blades back and then let them glide down. Bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. And see if you can close your eyes and return to that same awareness of your breath. So slowly breathing in, maybe even for the count of three, if that's helpful, of course. And then slowly breathing out. Taking that two more times at your own pace. And like you did before, take a breath in. And then open up your mouth. And then of course, do that as many times as you need. If it feels really good, you need to like do it three more times, maybe once or twice, maybe five times, just to allow yourself to be in that present moment with just an inhale. And an exhale, if that's what you need, stay there. And if you're ready to move just a little bit more, you can flutter the eyes open. Take a breath in to reach your hands up and overhead. You'll stand up a little taller, maybe even look up at your fingertips. And then softly start to bend your knees, sit back into chair pose. So this can be as vigorous as you want it to be, or just as soft as you want it to be. There's no right or wrong. Take a full breath in right here. Maybe feel the legs work just a little bit more. And then on your next exhale, think about hinging at the hips here, just to bring your belly towards your thighs and fold down. So it's not about folding and touching your toes. It's not about how straight your legs can be. And just allowing that fold to happen. Maybe even heel toe your feet a little wider apart. And take an inhale, find a halfway lift so your hands can come to your shins, maybe to your thighs. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down and step your feet back to a either a downward facing dog or tabletop pose. I'm moving around a very relaxed cat, so. <laughs> If I had a mat, he would be right in the middle of it. So <laughs> take a breath in and out, and then we all meet in tabletop pose. And drop the belly down, lift the chest, find cow pose. 
And then press into your hands a little more, round your upper back and find cat pose. Do that one more time on your own, a slow breath in. And then a slow breath out to round. And come back to that neutral shape, that tabletop position, your left leg about hip height. Can you send it back behind you and just twirl the ankle in both directions. Maybe fan out the toes, create a little bit of space there. And you'll tuck your toes under onto the ground, press back through the left heel. If you need a little bit of space in the neck, for me, sometimes this is like a really good place to also take a few neck rolls. And start to spin your left heel down onto the ground. Your right hand will stay. Reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. And you can reach your left fingertips forward. See if you can press down now through the outer edge of that left foot as you at the same time reach your fingertips further away. Take one more big breath in, get really long through the thigh. And then exhale lifts you up to bring your arms out like a T. Drop your left hand down, right arm will rise, finding gate pose. You might even take a roll of the wrist here in both directions. One more huge inhale, look up to your fingertips. And then you'll bring your hands back down towards the ground, come back to that three-legged tabletop. So the left leg is behind you still. And you'll step the left foot then outside the left hand. Awesome, and then your back toes, your right toes, will tuck under and see if you can then lift that right knee. So it doesn't have to be a super deep lunge here. If you have yoga blocks or that pillow, you feel like this is like too far, like the earth is too far away from you, the ground is too far, take that pillow under your hands or blocks under your hands. We're not here too, too long, take one more inhale. Now you'll look to the right side of your mat, trace it with your hands and parallel your feet. So you come back into that wide leg forward fold. And so you have the opportunity to just let your head hang like before, or if you would like, you can bend one knee at a time, taking a little bit of movement here. So almost like a side lunge, side to side. So. Bending one knee, straightening the other. I'm just shifting the weight, if that feels good. Take one more round of breath, wherever you are, breathe in. And out. You'll come towards that flat back like shape. Either walk the hands up the thighs, Hands can come eventually to your hips and take your time, but slowly come to standing in that wide stance. Look towards the top of your mat, step both feet there. Mountain pose, again, it's almost like home base, but standing. Palms face forward, shrug the shoulders as you breathe in. Draw them back and down as you exhale. Do that one more time. Just start to create that muscle memory of drawing your shoulders back, creating space across the collarbones. Keep that one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Maybe even close the eyes. Taking that little check-in again. Maybe it is taking three full rounds here of that intentional inhale. Slow exhale.
being okay with standing still. Being in this moment, not the one before. And not even in the moment that has yet to come. The pausing, if even just for a round of breath right here and right now. And slowly breathe in. Open your mouth. Letting out that intentional sigh. Staying here or blinking your eyes open. Reach your hands up on the inhale, grow a little taller. And then bend your knees, sitting back into that chair. And you can allow your seat to go as deep as it as you like, right? As much work as you want to bring in to the legs. However, rather than finding cat pose in the spine, see if you can still keep that idea of the chest broadening. If you'd like, and if it's helpful, bend through the elbows, almost create goal posts in the arms with the palms facing forward to allow that to happen. Take one more big breath in, maybe even slightly lift the chin here. And then exhale, hinging here at the hips to fold forward. Take that halfway lift, hands can come to your shins or your thighs. And then your hands come down, either step back to down dog or come right into that tabletop position. A breath in to find cow. A breath out to find cat. And then if you want, come back to tabletop and start to find this lateral movement side to side. So thinking about the letter C in both directions, right? So sending right ribs to the right, left ribs a little more to the left, letting your head and your tailbone be a part of that moving line. And when you're ready, just come to a seat. So you'll bring your legs around in front of you. And you can bring one shin in front of the other. You can of course sit on a pillow if you'd like. We're not here too, too long. Just enough to take a breath in to sit up nice and tall on your inhale. And then allow the shoulders to soften on your exhale. Take a breath in to reach your hands up overhead. Take note of what shin is in front. And then as you exhale, twist to the right, like you did at the beginning. So opposite hand, opposite knee. Now you'll keep your left hand where it is on your knee or on your thigh. Reach the right arm up overhead and look straight ahead here. I'm going to cross that right arm on top of the left. And you're creating this letter X, right? And then I want you to lift the fingertips here. So you're creating eagle arms. If this feels way too tight in the shoulders, totally okay. Hands can come to your shoulders here. And if it feels okay, you want to wrap the hands, also an option. And take a breath in, start to lift your chin, lift your face, and lift your elbows here. So think like cow in the back. And then as you exhale, chin towards your chest, you're gonna curl in and think about your elbows drawing down towards your legs. And you might notice that this creates a little bit more of a stretch in between your shoulder blades. For me, that's where I hold a lot of tension. And you can think about almost like giving yourself a hug here. 
we're feeling that space into the shoulder in between the shoulder blades draw apart and then inhale to sit up nice and tall release the arms switch what shin or leg is in front hands to your knee sit up tall again as you breathe in shoulders soften away from your ears you'll reach the hands up as you inhale and then you'll twist to the left so opposite hand opposite knee and then you'll keep that right hand on your left knee, reach the left hand up, lots of rights and lefts. You'll face the front and let the left arm cross on top of the right here. Now again, you can lift the fingertips. Either hands will come to the shoulders or you'll wrap the hands. Take a breath in to lift the elbows, lift the face. And then exhale, curl in, like almost like you're curling into this tiny little ball. And it doesn't have to be all the way down, right? It's not about how low you can go. It's about the sensation that you create, maybe in a little more space in your upper back. You might even just stay here and then slightly draw in with just the chin and that's enough. Wherever you are, take a full breath in, full exhale, and start to sit up tall, unravel the arms. Now take the fingertips behind you just for a moment. I need to lift the chin, lift the face, slightly squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then slowly come back to neutral. And so if you have that pillow, we're going to take a supported fish pose. You have the option to set this up. If you know you want your rest to be completely on the ground and you want to go there right away, always an option, to, of course, to just lie down. If you'd like to use a little bit of props, the pillow included, right behind you, You'll take it if it if there's a long way to it. It might even just be a square that works as well. I want you to place it behind your back, right? Or behind your seat because you'll slowly start to lay down onto that pillow. So it's just a place where the back of your heart, so the space in between your shoulder blades can rest. So you're just elevating your chest a little bit higher. And so take a moment to set that up. I like to start with bent knees so my feet can firmly plant and I can find that sweet spot where my low back feels okay. If this does not feel like your back or your body wants to be on this like little bit of a back bend position, then just roll off to the side, remove that pillow. You can put it under your head or off to the side. And if you're staying on the pillow, maybe consider, even if you're on the ground too, reach your hands up. Let the palms face one another. Take a breath in. Just reach the arms overhead for a moment. Notice what happens in the shoulders. And then reach them back up towards the ceiling. Allow the weight of your shoulders, and the shoulder head, the weight of your arms, to then drop down, like gravity is like taking hold here. And then if you'd like, you can open the arms either out like a T, start to bend the elbows like a W, if that feels more comfortable, or let the arms come down along your sides. So there's many options or angles, right, where your arms can land. And so we're all built differently, of course. We all hold tension differently. So find maybe what works for you and where your body wants to rest and find that sweet spot of creating space. But also you want it to feel good, right? You want it to feel like a place you can take that full breath in. And let your exhale 
be restful, be full of ease. So if this space is exactly where you feel like you'd like to stay for your entire rest, your Shavasana, I invite you to stay on that pillow or the prop underneath you. If you'd like your rest to be completely on your back here, you feel like that would provide you with more comfort. You roll off to the side, take your legs long, and let the back of your heart just then rest and release onto your mat. And again, you can let the arms rest where they want, whether it's alongside the body, out like a T. Maybe even coming back to that physical anchor of your breath, bringing your hands to your belly. Allow the eyes to close if that feels okay and take a breath in. Returning to that audible exhale. As you empty. Sometimes we need to give ourselves that permission. To be still. And as we training our mind to know that this intentional stillness is just as productive, if not even more productive. Low guided body scan here to settle in for these last few moments that we have together. And awareness to your toes. the bottom of your feet and the ankle. And allow them to soften, to settle, and to relax. Bring your awareness to your belly. To your chest.
to your shoulders. The sides of your neck. Allow that space to also settle, soften, and relax. Bring your awareness to your jaw. And even the features of your face. And even the crown of your head. Allow that space to settle and soften. and relax. And so from the tip of your toes all the way to the top of your head, Allow that entire space to settle, soften, and to relax. Slow breath in here. Slow exhale out. And start to bring in just a little bit more movement. Slow and intuitive into your toes, a little more into your fingers. You can even rock your head side to side. And begin to bend your knees and just roll to the side of your choice and pause there. And keeping your eyes heavy, you can just gently press yourself up to find a seat. That easy seat similar to when you began. Setting up nice and tall here, allowing the shoulders again to soften away from the ears. Staying here or if it feels right, bring your hands together in front of your heart here. Maybe even then bowing your chin towards that space. So just taking a moment to honor yourself for showing up for this time for yourself and showing up just as you are, right? So kind of just taking this time to release the idea of needing to be anything different, right? You just show up as you are right here, right now in this moment in each breath, one at a time. 
knowing that that is enough. So together, one last time, take a breath in. Maybe even open up your mouth, letting out that audible sigh of ease. Thank you so much for taking the time today to practice, to move, to breathe together. Namaste.